Welcome back everybody. So this is the tutorial number two for our AutoCAD Plant 3D 2016. Um, so in this video we are going to make a grid, a simple grid so we can um, we can add uh, some structural material and some equipment and go from there. Okay so the first thing we're going to do, um, I'm going to point out that make sure you're on the um, the 3d piping environment so as I've shown on the last video uh, right over here where my mouse pointer is you can click on that little down arrow thing and choose the environment that you like 3d piping is the right environment and most of our structural thing we're going to um, and the equipments too we're gonna add it through the structure palette here if you click uh, click on the structure and you see these are the pretty much the options we're gonna use okay so uh, actually before we do that we should also uh, create bunch of layers because in AutoCAD uh, you put each of the objects um, of similar types into their own layer which makes selection and viewing a lot easier than putting them all into one structure and anything you draw on the zero um, layer is not going to be visible if you print okay so the first thing we're going to do under structure click on layer properties we should pop up this well not a little window but a window nonetheless okay no need to uh, you can also snap it onto a corner but no need to do that we're just going to be using it on and off on this window um, right here this button would create a new layer go ahead and click on that the first one we're going to name grid grid and right over here you can choose a color for this let's choose 250 and click OK not a true valid color okay let's choose it from here uh, we're gonna choose 255 why not okay press OK and that's set for our grid layer we're gonna create another layer we're gonna call it let's first say footings footings and we're gonna set the color to go ahead and index color we're gonna choose let's choose some sort of a yellow let's choose yellow actually probably yellow is not the best uh, let's choose one of these grays 253 press ok and perfect it's done and then we're gonna create another layer let's call this one equipment equipment and let's set the color to some sort of orange uh, maybe a little darker orange or maybe lighter orange okay let's create that color 41 press ok gonna create another layer uh, we're going to call this structure S -T -R -U -C -T -U -R -E. structure and let's color this hmm let's color this blue okay and then we're going to press OK and then we should create another layer here uh, let's call that one we got grid footing equipment structure I think that's all we need right now so I'm just going to delete this one so by right clicking it and delete layer and now once you've selected these layers, uh, all you have to do is double click on one of them to make them permanent. So we're going to double click on grid. So everything we draw from now on is going to be drawn onto the grid layer. You can also change that by going back to the structure palette and under the layers section, you can just choose which, which one of these layers do you want to be. I can choose footing, go, go to footing and choose grid, we'll be in grid. Okay, so make sure your um, view is SOW isometric, sorry, SW isometric. And now we're going to press the grid button under the parts uh, section of structure palette. Okay, so grid. As you can see, this little pop up menu thing shows up. Um, so, what we're going to do here, we're going to see on the axis value. So, on the local x axis, you can see local x axis, we're going to have uh, grid line at zero at 4000 so for 4 meter 
8,000 and 12,000 meters. So we're going to have three little sections there. So on the Y, local Y, this direction, we're going to have a grid line at zero. We're going to have it at 4,000 and 8,000. So there will be two sections there. And on our, on our Z direction, oh, we're going to have one at zero and one at 500 and one at 8,500. So uh, 500 is just for uh, like, you know, off the ground and then eight meter is going to be the uh, height of our platform. And once you have put those values in, if you, if you press this button, it would populate this A, B, C, D, or rows one, two, three here. Uh, sometimes the writings are too big. So in that case, maybe, um, oh, look, it changed. So let's just keep it as is, and you can also choose the font size of, uh, of the grid notification. It's not going to print or anything. It's just going to show up like so. Okay, let's go ahead and click Create. And we can see we're very much zoomed in. Now we have our nice little grid going on. So if you were to choose the Orbit function, as you can see, now we can orbit around our grid. So uh, for working, usually, if you're in... Oh, let's press escape to get out of there. If you're in SW isometric view, as you can see, sometimes it's hard to select this line or snap onto this point because it coincides with a bunch of other points. So what I always do is select my um, orbit option and kind of set it up just a little bit so, so all those points and intersections can be selected now, which is a godsend really. Okay, so let's press escape to get out of there. And uh, today I'm just going to stop there. And so see you guys on the next video.